next example is going to be that of a boomerang lesson. And remember, the structure is like this. So again, we're going to start with an engage phase. And for our engage, the students are just going to have a discussion about jobs, what happens at interviews, and so on and so forth. So during that engage phase, what we would hope to do is to elicit some useful language about jobs and interviews and the types of questions that are being asked. Then we're going to move immediately into an activate activity, and this is going to involve a role play. So we'll break the students into pairs. One will be an interviewer, the other will be an interviewee, and they'll generate the language that that role play will produce. What the teacher can do whilst that is taking place is to go around and make a note of any mistakes in either vocabulary or grammar that are taking place. What you can then do in the study phase of the lesson, firstly in the board work, taking your cue from what happened in the role play, then we can study that particular language and grammar, which will be helpful for their role play later on in the lesson. So the students will cover any useful language and grammar needed for that particular role play. Once that has occurred, we can then do worksheets. Those worksheets will be to check their understanding of that particular language and grammar point. And then, finally, we can repeat the role play as our final activate activity, perhaps swap down the interviewer and the interviewee so they get to play a different part. But what they should now be able to do is to make use of this language and grammar in their second role play. Hopefully what we will show the students is that there is a gap in their knowledge in this first one and that they can then use that language in their second one. So a boomerang ESA lesson is very good for indicating a learning need and showing that that learning need has been covered.